Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Sanskrit Das, a legal intern on the Lexington Company and I am pursuing BBLLB from Price University, Pune. So my topic for today is the Indian Evidence Act. The Indian Evidence Act originally passed in India by the Imperial Legislative Council in 1872 during the British rule contains a set of rules and allied issues governing admissibility of evidence in the Indian courts of law. The Indian Evidence Act identifies as Act No. 1 of 187 and called the Indian Evidence Act 1872 has 11 chapters and 167 sections and came into force on 1st September 1872. At that time, India was a part of the British Empire. Over a period of more than 125 years since, it, since its enactment, the Indian Evidence Act has basically retained its original form, except certain amendments from time to time. And one of the amendments is the Criminal Law Amendment Act 2005. When India gained independence on 15th August 1947, the Act continued to be enforced through the Republic of India and Pakistan except the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Since the independence of Bangladesh on 26 March 1971, it is in use throughout Bangladesh, though some necessary amendments have been made. Taking evidence, parties to proceeding before a court or court of law can abduce only admissible evidence. Admissible evidence are either fact and issues or relevant facts, which are not excluded from being adduced ad, ad, uh, by an, any other provisions of India and Evidence Act 1872. Section 3 of the Act defines fact, fact and issue and relevant facts. According to section 59 and 60, facts can be proved by two ways. One is orally and second is documentary, which includes electronic documents as well. Oral evidences mostly suggest the verbal de deposition before the court and not otherwise, and which includes oral statements regarding material too. Documentary evidence suggests the documents, so the evidence regarding matter which have number of facts for which evidence by, by way of, of oral or documentary produced before the court for its evaluation for either one of fact or facts. Court by going through those documentary evidence and oral evidence decide that particular fact and all facts are proved or not or whether the fact or facts can be presumed to be proved. In evaluation as above said by the looking into the oral and documentary evidence, court decide whether a particular fact is proved or not or facts are proved or not. Whereas when in end provision it is said the particular fact or particular fact is particular circumstances must be concluded as conclusive proof, court has to regard it as proved and shall not allow parties to uh, adduce evidence to rebut. Thank you.